You already know this your boy Pale, aka Telegram the Hustler. Right now, man, I got my eyes locked in one of the hottest magazine in the street right now. 24 cell man, get on your grind, man. Everybody in this book, man, represent the struggle, man. What it costs, you know what I'm saying, to get from here to there, man. You know what I'm saying? Contact these people. It is what it is, man. It's the streets, man. So get back into it, man. Yo, you already know this your boy Pale, aka Telegram the Hustle. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know me, a lot of people know me from the franchise boys. You know what I'm saying? I had the dreads, then I cut my hair. New look, new motto, new music, everything new. It's what it is, you know. I'm doing my solo thing right now. So, you know, this is what it is. Alright, so give us a little bit of background on how you came up and where you're from and things of that nature. Well, you know, um, I'm from Atlanta, west side of Atlanta, Bankhead, uh, Born Home Projects. Uh, you know, uh, I come from the struggle, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, due to my success, it helped a lot of more people from my projects come out, like Shaw the Low, uh, Shot Boys, people like that. You know what I'm saying? I come, from the, I come from the street, from the grind. So, you know, in my music and the way I carry myself, everything's gonna be from the struggle. So, with the franchise boys, white team mm -hmm. explain, explain how that came about and how that, that whole deal and the group came about. Well, you know, like every morning for school, the color started talking, talking about projects and going home, you know, you spend five dollars, you get a white t shirt every day. You know what I'm saying? They're like the easiest thing. So, when you ain't got no shirts, so go buy you a t-shirt, you know. It's like that area well. So um we just decided when we was in the studio that it'd be a good concept to do a song about white t-shirts. So we got in the studio, made the beat, did the song, took it to the club and it just grew root from right there. Six months later after we did the song, we had to deal with Universal. And then the story started from there. So y'all basically people was already wearing white tees, but y'all brought it to the to the national. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, like, uh, white tea, everybody, wherever you go, whatever country you go in, whatever race, you know, white tea, that's a regular thing, man, so it's universal. So when we dropped the song, everybody can relate to it, and at the same time, it was a fun song, you know what I'm saying? So it gave you an opportunity to, to be who you is without wearing uh, name brand stuff, and it gave people a chance from the struggle to represent themselves in a national way. So fast forward to now, like, Teddy Graham the Hustler, explain, explain that whole concept and the reason behind it. Um, well, the name Teddy Graham the Hustler, it really it started during the Franchise Boys thing. Um, I got the name Teddy Graham the Hustler just from, you know, being in the trap and like my thing with grams, you know, I used to sell, I used to sell like grams. So, I was looking, you know, just being like music wise and concept going through the mind, I was like, on the song, I was like, I got more grams than Teddy, you know? So I kind of took that Teddy Graham thing and took the H off the end and put Graham with G-R-A-M for, you know, grams, you know what I'm saying? So you put Teddy Graham on it and, you know, I'm a hustler, so I just stuck with Teddy Graham the hustle. I actually came out with a Teddy Graham the hustle on my first CD uh, in 2007. It was hosted by DJ Cool Breeze um, that had features on from Lil Wayne, um, Corrupt, um, names like that on it that was a big success. So ever since then, the name kind of stuck with me. All right, so currently you have a new project out right now? Yeah, um, I just dropped uh, Teddy Ground the Hustle on um, Back in the Trap. Um, you know, from my success with Franchise Boys and stuff like that, by me doing my solo solo project, I kind of wanted to, to uh, you know, separate my solo career from the Franchise Boys career and Parlay, you know, we say Parlay, a lot of people who do know, uh, put that name with the Franchise Boys, you know. So I still go by Parlay, but Telegram is kind of like, that's my solo thing. So I use that name to represent who I am and the type of music that I make. So what is, what's the first single off that project? Uh, the first single on that project is called TTG, uh, Train to Go, featuring Young Ralph. On my drop that, I got a video out, you can go on YouTube. Um, any of your local music site, websites, um, check that video out right now. All right, so you've been around for quite a while, you know, um, since it's been, oh man, it's been a little bit. It's been a grip, yeah. Uh -huh. So what do you think about the Atlanta scene back then when you first started versus now in the direction that the Atlanta music is going in? 
Well, you know, back then, um, before we came out, like, it wasn't, everything was mainstream. You know what I'm saying? Everything you heard on the radio, all the videos you seen was mainstream. Um, when we came, we kind of broke that barrier. And we started bringing the underground artists to the mainstream light. And at the time, back then, everybody stuck together. You know what I'm saying? Because it was a grind for one. All of us coming from the same place, trying to make it somewhere. So we all each uh, laying everybody a hand to make it. You know what I'm saying? But to back right now, it's, it's reverting back to right before we came out. Everything is mainstream right now. Nobody's helping each other. You know, everybody want to do their own thing. And it's like, in a sense, everybody want to be a boss. Nobody want to help nobody because they don't want nobody else to shine. You feel me? So, you know, I'm just trying to come back in and, you know, represent the streets. How I, how I was started, man. How Atlanta got that light. You know what I'm saying? We gave, you know, besides Andre, um, Big Boy, and, you know, mainstream artists back then, you know, we gave people that light from the streets perspective. You know what I'm saying? To start doing rap. Start doing music and stuff, so you know I'm finna bring that back right now. So what's next, mixtape? What's next in the works for you? Any, any movies? Any anything else outside of the music that you're working on currently? Uh, of, of course, of course. You know, um, I got the label White T Cartel. Um, I got my own street movement called LGM. Let's get money. Um, you know, I got a few artists on the label that I'm bringing out, and I'm for just finna turn them on to all the music things. And I'm finna start doing the movies. You know, I write movies, I write scripts. Um, I had a movie we finna shoot uh, called The Trap. And uh, I'm starting the movie um, called Tangled and Twisted. That, um, we start shooting in November. So I'm finna get into the movie and production side. And, and I, you know, I write. So I'm finna work on that right there while I teach everybody else the, the ins and outs of the music business. Okay, what kind of uh, advice do you have for up and coming rappers trying to get Do it because you want to do it because you like to do it. Don't do it for the money, don't do it for the fame, don't do it for the line, like, do it because you like to do it, you know what I'm saying? Make it a hobby. Anything you do that's a hobby, you're going to want to do it, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, I'm once, once you start, once you get into this music business and become a job, then when things become difficult, you know what I'm saying? When you're trying to make a hit, and, and when it's not fun no more, you don't, you don't want to do it, it becomes stressful. So to all the upcoming artists, if you're going to do this music thing, man, do it because you like to do it. You know what I'm saying? Let that be the reason. Everything else is going to fall like dominoes. So if anybody wants to contact you, how do they go about doing that? Um, you can contact me um, on Twitter, um, at Teddy Graham the Hustler, um, T-E-D-D-Y underscore G-R-A-M underscore. Um, you can hit me on my phone number, 678-845, um, T-D-G-H, Teddy Graham the Hustler. Um, you can hit me like that. Um, contact me. Hey man, all artists, I'm open for everything. We can make it happen, man. It ain't always about the money, man. It's about the networking and relationship, man. Once we stick together, man, then we can do.